Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be another update for Project 10 Uses, also known as Loves Me, Loves Me Not. This project is a collaboration that I am doing with my friend Jenna from Just Jenna and Lara from Solids Crazy over on Instagram. There's several other people that have joined in on this project. I'm gonna link as many people as I can think of down below. I know Christelle has been doing this with me over on Instagram. So has Lindsay, both here on Instagram and on YouTube, right here. So I'm gonna link as many people as I could think of down below. If I have forgotten you and you were doing this project, leave it in the comments and I will add you in because every month there's somebody new that I realized I forgot. So just let me know and I will correct my mistake. All right. The whole point of this project is to be working on 10 products at a time, use them 10 times, and once you have used them 10 times, they roll out and you can roll in a new item from your stash. There's no rules about what items we choose, it's our discretion, and I love this project. I've made it no secret. This is one of my favorite projects that I've been doing this year. It is just what I needed to add some variety into all of the panning projects that are like year-long projects and are very consistent from day to day. This really has been spicing it up for me. I have hit my goal on using a few items up 10 times, so they will be rolling out and I will be rolling some new ones in. Let's take it from the top. First on my list is Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Queen Bee. I don't remember how many uses I had last month or if I've used it any times in the past month. I feel like I've used it at least once, but we are up to five uses, so I still need to use this five more times. I like this product a lot. I actually like the shade a lot. I just haven't been gravitating toward these neutrally type of shades. I'm really into brights and pinks right now, and so that's the only reason why I haven't hit the 10 time mark on this. Also, I just have a lot of lip products that I'm working on, so something automatically gets ignored because there's just too many lip products in rotation right now so i can be picky about what i use and what i don't use and so yeah i'm at the five use mark and i'm working to get towards 10 but i do like this product a lot i naively put two nail polishes in this project from the start and it is going very slowly i'm up to the four use mark for this nail teeny millionaire it is a topper with glitter gold glitter bars I think they're called glitter bars bar glitters with bar glitters and we're up to four uses we're getting there this nail polish from Milani in high-tech I have now used six times again slowly I am getting there I think I used it one more time in the last month I need to paint my nails today but it's not gonna be with this one so Hopefully I'll get another mani in the next month, but it's going to take forever for me to get through those two polishes. I may roll in another polish if I hit my goal on those two, but it'll only be one, not two. This pore eyeliner is still at the one use mark. This is the taupe, is it taupe? Yes, taupe eyeliner from Nat Robbins. I'll get there. Okay, I'm at the eight use mark for this Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fig. I like this very much. I've used it eight times. I have no doubt that this will be rolling out at the next update. I just didn't get to the 10 use mark by today, but it's good and I like it. Everything else from this project is being rolled out and one of the items is being decluttered. I cannot believe I'm saying that. When I started this project, Jenna was really encouraging me to try to focus on what I could declutter while I was doing this project. And I kind of gave her some lip service and said like, yeah, 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 sure, I'll do that, thinking I was never gonna declutter anything because I don't. I generally don't declutter, but through this project, I am grabbing for some old things that I haven't touched in years. And the truth is, they need to be decluttered. So let's talk about that one first. The product I'm decluttering is this dual-ended eyeliner from Lorac. It has one end right here called copper and the other end is called black cherry. It isn't quite a black eyeliner. It's got a little bit of a deep black cherry shimmer running through it, but on the eyes, it basically looks black. Both ends of this product at one time were very good. Unfortunately, they've basically dried out and 
doesn't look like they would have dried out just by looking at the packaging, like they're sealed. There's probably not a lot of air getting in here, but they're no longer working the way I want them to. I did end up using this copper shade 10 times and I've used it just as a little highlight right there on my lower lash line. So just the tiniest amount. This I only used two times before I completely gave up on it. Um, basically what happened was on both ends, bless you, bless you. On both ends of this product, I was able to use them a few times and then once I used the product that was on the wand, I was having trouble picking up new product. I would dip my brush in, swirl it around as best as I could, and nothing was coming out. So then I thought, well, let's take the stopper out and see what happens. So I took the stoppers out of both ends, and this end with the black cherry is still not picking up any product. Then I tried adding like some liquid drops in there to thin it out nothing so basically on this end i just can't pick up any product certainly not enough to get a nice winged eyeliner on my upper lash line which is the way i would use this which makes it useless on this end the opposite happened when i took out the stopper now i am getting like tons of product gigantic clumps it's a mess and look at the end of the day i technically could make this end work but what am i doing with my life i don't know i don't want to i don't want to use this i don't want to try to make this work it will last years and years and years if i try to pan it and it'll be a headache for the entire time i've decided i'm going to declutter it i know there'll be a couple of you that are very sad to hear i'm not going to pan this and there'll be a majority of you that are ecstatic that i'm saying this but I, it's not worth my time and frustration. I have a lot of products in my stash already that perform just as good as this. Well, they can perform the same way that this does, but much better. And I'd rather use those than try to power through this just to get an empty. So it's getting decluttered. So I counted both of these ends as one item for this project. So these two items are getting decluttered. The last three items are staying in my stash and I did use them 10 or more times while they were in this project. First is this Avon Slick Tints in the shade Glossy Wine. I used this exactly 10 times. I'm wearing it for the 10th time right now. Good product, still in good shape. I'd love to put this in a project down the road, but for now, I'm just gonna put it back in my stash and hopefully it'll make an appearance in a project really soon. This is a hot pink, almost red lip liner that I absolutely loved using. I actually ended up using it 11 times. It is just, it's beautiful. It's, I'm so glad I pulled it into this project because I hadn't touched it in years, but it is just what I needed. I kept coming back to this over and over and over again. And when I hit the 10 time use, I had to kind of force myself to stop using it so that I could hit the 10 mark use on some of these other lip products because I just wanted to keep using this one over and over. It is such a fun pop of color. And finally, I used my Gap lip liner in pink 11 times. This was another, like, I basically had never used this before. It was, I'd had it for 10 years and I'd never used it even once. And it is great. I sharpened it once. It needs to be sharpened again. It's a very soft formula and a be beautiful color, and I loved using this. I hope to get back to it again soon, time will tell. Five items have rolled out of this project. One is being decluttered, and five items will be rolling into this project. I didn't want to overwhelm myself with too many lip products, so even though three lip products are rolling out, I am only rolling two back in because there are some lip products in other projects that I really haven't been using, so I need to focus on them. But both of them are going to be lip liners. This is a Jordana lip liner in the shade Baby Berry. I've probably used it once. It's like a deep pink shade. Looks very pretty. Looks like the kind of lip liner I am just going for these days. And then this is more of a, this is definitely more of a red, not quite like a true red, but maybe a warm red. I don't know, we'll see. It's called Apple Cordial and it is by Estee Lauder. So it's a pretty bold shade. And it also looks like it has never been used even once. Like 
the tip got smushed down a little bit from sliding onto the cap, but it's brand new. Okay, the next item is a deep navy blue eyeliner from Revlon. This was handed down to me from a friend and I have never used it. This is the Line Fantasy Cream Eyeliner in Indigo. Here's the thing, it's dry. It's not completely dry. It's not hard as a rock dry, but it is dry. And so I need to see if I can revive this using whatever strategies I have and if I could make this workable and if once I revive it it's still a good eyeliner which is the final test like yeah I could put a bunch of stuff in there to make it liquid but it might not perform as a good eyeliner once I do that so I need to figure that out and see if I can make this work because it's kind of cool to see this like deep navy color I'm like feeling I'm feeling it I'm feeling the deep navy right now but if this cannot be revived to a good quality eyeliner it's going to be decluttered, so time to figure that out and see what I can do with it. Hopefully, I can make it work, I'm hoping. And then finally, a lot of you guys know, I've been pining after the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Right now, my plan is to save up enough credits of empty so that I could buy it for not this Sephora VIB that's happening currently, but the next one. And, um, I might do that, I might buy it, who knows? I can do these things. I've been known to buy eyeshadow palettes in my life. However, in the meantime, a lot of you guys have very rightly been encouraging me to shop my stash for what I have and see if I can kind of get that urge out of my system. A lot of us also talked about in previous updates that this project is perfect for putting in those items that you would never put in a typical panning project like glitters and pigments and just those kind of things that you don't want to use from day to day to use up, but they're in your stash and so you should be using them. And so the solution I came up with is this. This is a five pan pressed glitter palette from JCat Beauty. The progress that you see on here, these two pans, which should have been in my products I've hit pan on. Anyways, I didn't hit pan on them. My girl Jamie did. And so I've never used this palette even once. Not once. But there are golds, there are coppers, there are shimmery shades, the kind of things that I'm apparently craving right now, even though historically I've never liked these kind of colors. So... I'm going to use this 10 times. My plan is to focus on two of the pans and use them 10 times. And I'm, I'm not sure which two I want to pick, but it's one of these three right here. This is the most gold, so that makes sense. This is the most neutral, which is typically what I gravitate towards more. And then this one is like the finest milled glitter, which I'm really into. So I'm going to use two of these three pans 10 times. That's the plan. And we'll see if I can get the Natasha Denona gold palette out of my system. They're also, oh, I'm, I'm definitely picking up glitter just by touching these. I just touched each pan and I made a beautiful concoction. So yeah, I am going to use these 10 times and see what I think about this palette that I've never used, but have had forever. All right, guys, that's it for this update. I'm still loving this project. I'm so glad I'm doing it. For those of you guys that are doing this project along with me, I hope you are having as much fun as I am because it is so great to rotate through these random products that have been sitting in my stash for years without being touched while I worked on other items to pan them completely. It takes me so long to pan anything and to finish anything that so many products just don't get used in the meantime and this project has been perfect for me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye